comment room friends. Today's video is all about the ITE observing insect life. This hits your scientific and your language skills and it can hit your cognitive skills and your math skills. So before we begin, when we're observing insect life, some scientists use magnifying glasses. Miss Heidi doesn't have a magnifying glass and I don't know if you have a magnifying glass. Another way we can use a magnifying glass are these. These are magnifying glasses. These are binoculars. And you can look like this and you can look for bugs. We're gonna, insect's a big word. We look for bugs. So Miss Heidi's looking for bugs. And you may not have a pair of these at your house. So Miss Heidi has an activity to share with you. You can make your own binoculars and use them to hunt for bugs when you go outside or go for a walk. You can either use two toilet paper rolls and you can decorate these if you like or just leave them brown. You can color them with crayons or markers, or you can glue construction paper on them. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. And um, you can use scotch tape or um, rubber bands. I've seen people use rubber bands to make their binoculars or glue them or masking tape. So, if you got scotch tape or masking tape, of course, you're just going to take the tape and tape them together or tape it around to make your binoculars like this. See, now you'll have binoculars. Um, another way is like a rubber band and you'll just put the rubber band around and now you have a pair of binoculars to search for your bugs. Um, you can use the Scott towel and have a Scott towel roll too. Just have your moms and dads or your families cut it in half and put it together just like your toilet paper rolls. Now that you've made your binoculars, Miss Heidi has to share what she sees and what she has found and is growing for you at home. Do you see friends? Get out your binoculars. What do you see? See them crawling once a pop you live. If you said worm, you're close. It's a caterpillar. So we are going to be observing, and Miss Heidi will share you weekly what or what is going on with our baby caterpillars. Miss Heidi has one caterpillar for each of you. Now, what are these caterpillars going to be? Well, let's see. Can you guess what a caterpillar? Will be. It starts out here like an egg and it turns into the caterpillar just like you saw. And then 
let me put this a little brown cut cocoon and it goes from there and turns into this what is this can you see if you said butterfly kiss your brain you are right so our class is studying butterflies what other bugs can you find out in in your home or out when you're going for a walk or outside here miss heidi's gonna make a sound and see if you can guess it Bzzz. it goes and pollinates all the little flowers What was that? Did you say bee? So see if you can find a bee. Another one. Miss Heidi's going to sing a little song. Get your little hands out. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and Dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <gasps> Did you say spider? So see if you can sp find a spider. The next one would be. An ant. See if you can find an ant. An ant is an insect. And Miss Heidi read a story just recently called Beetle Bop. See if you can find a beetle. Um, here's another one. Shoot fly. So flies. Flies. Um, let's see. And at night, let's see if Miss Heidi gets out of her binoculars. At night, we see bugs and their bottoms, they light up. What are those, friends? A lightning bug. A lightning bug is an insect. Let's see. Can we think of any others? Hmm. See if you can find some more and share them with your teachers the next time you see us and talk to us. Until next time, I wish you well, my friends. Take care. Bye.